Does God care more about our comfort or our commitment? I've really had to wrestle through that over these last couple of weeks. I've been comfortable, really comfortable. And I think that's been an issue. In fact, I've been so comfortable that I found myself frustrated with the things of this life that I'm losing. The things that I look at going, is that needed? Is that necessary? Do I absolutely have to have that? And yet I want it. These last couple of days as we've been in James, we've been talking about the fact that quarrels and issues arise because I want what I want. I have wrestled so much over the last couple of weeks because I want what I want. Does God care more about our comfort or our commitment? The question today is, what's COVID-19 doing for you? And I can tell you that it's challenging my commitment. Because I believe that God wants us to be both comfortable and committed. By comfort, I believe that God wants us to have a great life, that he wants to bless us in this life. But having a blessed life doesn't necessarily mean I have all the things of this world that I want. In fact, I think at times the things of this world that we desire often get in the way of our commitment to God. So what if something like this situation, COVID-19, is meant to take those things from us and give us a better life, more committed to God as we experience his goodness? That's what's happening in my life. I like being comfortable. I like the idea of being able just to relax in the sun and do nothing. And yet, I'm coming to realize that I like the idea of being committed to God more than I like the idea of being comfortable with this world. In the study today in James, James chapter four, verse seven, it says this, submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. The previous verses tell us that if we are friends with the world, we're enemies with God. And the way to change that is to humble ourselves, to mourn, to grieve the fact that maybe we've become too comfortable in this world and we need to be more committed to God. I know that's something that I'm being challenged in, that I need to be committed. And yet I know that God wants to give us a great life because it says here, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. And that's my prayer in this season, that God will lift us up and that we will experience him and be more connected to him because when we come near to God, he will come near to you. So I pray that's what's happening in this time with you as well, that God has given you comfort and commitment to him in a way you've never experienced. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.